What's going on, everybody? Eddie Soundhead back once again here with Soundhead Entertainment. And we are back in Beam NG Drive and back with the Beam Monsters mods to have ourselves a time here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Usually, we're checking this place out for its rough racing surface and its high banks and its fantastic Atlanta finishes. But today, it's been beautifully converted into a playground of pandemonium. We've got 12 different trucks ready to let it eat out there for freestyle. And we're going to show it to you like we never had before. We're doing things a little bit differently today. And we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna try something here. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the carnage as we are getting into this thing. Starting off with the Bakugan Dragonoid. We will have two minutes and 30 seconds to run this thing into the ground from the time we hit our first obstacle. And uh, hopefully we don't ding it up too bad because this particular truck I think looks really awesome. I am not too familiar with the Bakugan source material or anything, but it does look sick. And I do like that it's basically a sponsorship deal between Monster Jam and the people that make their toys. That is, that's just kind of cool to me for whatever reason is. We are hitting our first few jumps of the day and we've got a big old obstacle coming up right here to start us off. How about the big tractor trailer that I put there on the front stretch right in front of the fans? Not sure that would get past the safety regulations in real life and some more big air is up there. But of course, we don't have to worry about things like health and safety in BMG. That is one of the saving graces of our ability to just go insane out here on the track we've got a big old chance to turn around here and shout out to the camera path editor allowing us to see beautiful shots of us climbing over things like that bus because i think every single game should have something like this it is uh, a little tough to learn at first as you will see i'm not the best at it as this video starts we get some nice sky willy action right there and gonna hold on to it a little bit, but the more you use that camera path editor, the better I have gotten at it. So that will progress a little bit as we go on in this video. We take a wing off over the van stack. We're gonna be flying a little bit sideways now. This dragon is gonna look like the one that gets captured in White Run and Skyrim on this box truck as we get chained up. And not too pleased about it, we're gonna take our anger out on the camper. We're tearing it up. It has grabbed on. We're gonna have to be freed from this, aren't we? And I did operate on somewhat of an honor system where if the truck got stuck, I'd pause the timer, reset the truck, and allow it to continue. So let's get right back to it. You gotta get your revenge on this obstacle here and it's gonna bite us again. We're going right back over on the lid. Bending our unicorn horn there at the front and all oh, the whole body's coming off and we're gonna shred it underneath the tire. Oh no, that beautiful. What are they made out of? Like, you, I think now they're making out of like styrofoam and stuff. They're making them out of weird stuff now. I don't even know. Fiberglass is a thing of the past, apparently. Maybe not. Maybe I'm going crazy. But we are going to make the suspension a thing of the past here with a landing like that. And it is indeed in shambles now. But that won't stop us from taking down another van stack. And let's get this thing over some crush cars as well. Why not dance it over top of them? with this cockeyed rear suspension that's not doing anybody any favors. And as time is winding down here, we gotta end this big out with a skewered backflip. But that's simply not enough. How about we go for a little cross thread over some crush cars. It's gonna send us into a bicycle. Not that easy to control. We'll give the fans an up and close look at this body with a backflip to boot. We're gonna rip that front end off the face. Removed from the dragon, all that remains is the tail. And the Dovahkiin, I think it's reign supreme. I don't know much about dragon lore, but I think this one has been slain. Wow, well, about another beautiful truck up next? We've got Titan, the classic C10 body hailing from the independent scene of California. This truck has quietly been one of my favorites over the last 10 years as we're about to air it out big time over the van and get that hard, hard landing right on the pit row. That could not be a good one for the spiders. We gotta get over all the scaffolding and everything to get a shot of what's next, like this big old bus jump. We get about a extra bus high over that jump and ride it out into a wheelie as well. Not too bad here. We're really carrying that thing. There you go. And we're gonna send it right into another jump and that's gonna come down hard on the rear suspension. There's gonna be somebody in a suspension shop somewhere making a boatload of money when this event is over. I can promise you that. As there's another bus. It's attack on the buses here today. And shout out as we always have to to all those kind of old school crush mobs. Those were always my favorite. The crazy bus stacks, tractor trailer stacks, you name it. Usually at the world finals, they bring out the, the really big stuff, especially in the late 2000s, early 2010s. They would get really crazy at the world finals and they started to back it down as they probably needed to. But we're backing down this 540 cubic inch engine to get us over some crush cars with the greatest of ease. 
And we're gonna take the van stack as well and slam that thing down. And why not just keep running the table? We'll just go from end to end on this thing. We have to we'll glancing below the top of that bus, crunch it back down because the way that this replay system works, we have to pretty much reset the track after each run or else the game starts bugging and we can't be having that as we have some more big air on our hands and some more hard landings as we're continuing to just run through this course from side to side, slapping that thing down hard on the nose and kicking it up. And that will conclude our running of the course. We'll flip it around Jimmy through the signs here and set up for this van stack and a nice second helping of it as that's already nice and slammed down from earlier. We'll go ahead and revisit these crush cars as well, dance over top of them. Doing the Mamba on top of these crush cars. How about a little backflip? And a beautiful landing. Not the most beautiful shift into reverse, but it will do. And that'll get us lined up over these crush cars for another Slap Wheelie here at Slap Wheelie Central. This is Slap Wheelie Motor Speedway is what I would call this place. As they're about to dig it up anyway. This is the last look at Atlanta Motor Speedway. So we better send it out with a bang over this tractor trailer. Come down hard. They're gonna rip this place up and probably rip its heart out knowing how NASCAR does repaves these days, but whatever, we gotta send it. This one's for you, Atlanta, up in the air. This is huge, Aaron, down on the spine. It's dust, and we just broke every inch of this truck. I think the front and the rear suspension are both smashed to pieces and conveniently timed. I think that will pretty much end the run here for Titan as it winds up like it did in that World Finals video where it didn't even try to make the corner of qualifying. How on brand? Well, with our next truck, we're switching gears a little bit. We're gonna be paying tribute, as I'm sure most of you know, we've got the Gunslinger here, one of the classics of Monster Jam, and its legendary owner and operator, Scott Hardsock, sadly recently passed away. He was an absolute legend in the monster trucking scene, and he will be greatly missed, and today, we are gonna try and do him proud. First of all, by sending it into some mega air right off the bat, into a nose dive, and then pulling it up over the next jump to save it. That was kind of nice. We're gonna try to honor the man here with a nice run. We already got some big air. I remember him sending it over a World Finals main jump. I don't remember if it was two or three, but man, did he ever destroy the truck. And that just shows how far these things have come as far as a developmental standpoint, because they used to get trashed quite easily and now they can take a beating and we're gonna give this thing a little beating over these jumps we're gonna unlock that mega powers engine unleash its true potential and send it right into the bus and into a nose dive that we can save and turn this thing around here up on this pavement making us tripods we're trying to turn around and hit this parallel jump and send it back the other way now this truck looks exactly like how i remember it as a child with that lower front bumper bar knocked off i guess that's kind of an element of realism right there and <laughs> i kind of like that we were able to replicate that organically as so we're gonna send it up the Hail Mary Crush Car into the, into the semi-trailer and that just did not work. We're up on our roof. Can we pull it back? Can we save it? Our hood is coming loose. We lost the hood, but we cannot lose the truck. Can we dance on two wheels and bring it back? Of course we can. We're slinging guns. We're slinging dirt. We're slinging this thing through the air. We cannot be stopped. And we're doing it for the man. We got to do this. This is the third truck for Dale. And this is for Scotty Hartsock. We are locked, cocked, and ready to rock. We're cross-threading. Come on. We have got all of the powers on our side. Sideways over the crush cars. Oh, no, I've got a terrible idea. Do you have it too? Let's go for this camper. Up through it clean. And it didn't even grab onto us. Oh, that was the best camper hit I think we've ever had. And we get kicked up on our nose. Oh, we get front flipped. And we drive out of it. How in the world? We're hitting, we're hitting tricks we didn't even mean to hit. And we're getting bounces, big old bounces up on two wheels. Let's sling this thing around. We've got to cap this run off in a big, big way because it is coming to a close here. We have hit some monster jumps. Why not one last one? It's going to land us hard on the nose. And we're going to pull it back still into a wheelie into a wheelie who cares that we just destroyed the front suspension throw it up the bus just throw it at the bus throw it at anything in front of you like this backflip ramp and it's still landing on the wheels this truck it was just meant to finish on all four that was a hell of a run i like to think we did the gunslinger proud here today
And changing it into our next truck here, we have got Spider-Man with his cheeks out on the roof. My God, man. There could be children watching this, Spidey. You gotta take it easy. We gotta, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get Spider-Man on the course here. And I think what we're gonna do is floor it right down this pit road and send it up the van stack just to see. Like we're swinging through New York City, up through the Atlanta air. And down pit road, we'll continue to go. Starting this run off right. See if we can get down this ramp path here without scaring the crew members too bad. All the pit road crews and officials running, scattering. They don't know what's going on. They thought this was a NASCAR race. They're like Michael Walsh. They're at the wrong track, but that is A-OK -okay because they're going to get a great show, including some slap willies here that'll carry into the bus. We're going to ride it across the side, crunching that thing in and using the roll entrance to spin it around. I ran a car through that rover earlier too, thinking it was just gonna be the Charlotte one, but it wasn't, it's, it's a little bit different. Shout out to Atlanta. Probably accurately modeled or not, because I don't know what the real one looks like, but I do know what a big old hit on a van looks like, and that was it. And up on two wheels, we get the save. And we're gonna send it right into the tractor trailer, gonna grind over the top of it. And barely miss that new van we added there for a little extra added ease on the other side once we get to that. We'll skim it across the top of those crushed cars there. Put the power down, get that wheelie going. We'll send a big old wheelie here into the next jump and see what happens. And we're gonna just bury it into the bus. Nose first, our clip gets stuck and now we're dancing on our own nose. And Spidey's face is just jammed into that bus. Oh, poor Spidey. Don't let J. Jonah Jameson get a picture of that. Oh, or this. Well, not our finest hour as we get stuck again, but we're back and rolling into a back flip off the box truck and reversing out of it as we just caved that thing entirely in. And that'll be a fun thing to try to hit from the other side too, if we get the chance, but let's see what else we can do here. How about a backflip going the other way off of an actual backflip ramp? You know, something being used for its intended use. How about a corkscrew and you hit those jumps half and half? I think that's what you'd call that. That's what I'd call that. That's what we got for the fans out here, right in front of them on the front stretch. We'll send up a little bit of air. Can I try to kick that back end up, but it doesn't quite get there. And now we'll try to work it back around towards that camper as we just about flip it on the pit road. Everybody run and scatter. You thought Mark Martin spinning down pit road or Casey Kane hitting the pit wall was bad. Wait till a monster truck comes through and takes a camper out. And it is jammed up in the wheels. We may have had enough of this one. We're just going to floor it over the bus and burst into a ball of flames, an explosion. Spidey may not get out of this one, although he is gonna try and look at us landed on the wheels at least. Miles Morales is gonna come bail you out now, Spidey. You might be toast. Well, keeping with the theme of character trucks, how about that big mean mugging face of Donkey Kong? All right, now this is a sick little truck I remember showing up back in like the 2009-ish era, and I think Frank Kimmel drove this thing for a while, and. Just a nice little video game truck. And what better place to drive a video game truck than in a video game? This is just Logic and Sense 101, I'd say. And flooring it down the front stretch. This is NASCAR Monster Truck Series coming soon. Might be about the only thing I could save it now is we're gonna send it up the big tractor trailer and clear the landing cars. That is not even a option to hit those things with that air. And we get over this little mini jump as well. Dare I say, this camera pad thing's starting to look a little bit better. It's almost like I'm starting to learn something about now. It may not last for long though, because this is a lot of wheeling and tracking and bad driving from yours truly. But getting across that line as if this were a race, that would have been nice as the truck comes right at us. Look at this shot. I love this camera pathing system and I do not love that van because we just crushed it, got huge air and fused all of our vertebrae in one. So that's just neat. You love to see it, don't you? You really do. What you love to see is more of that big air and that's what's coming up right next. Look at that tie dancing in the wind, just taking a beating out there, just gliding along. It's hanging on pretty strong. So they must've made that out of the same thing they made Monster Mutt's tongue out of or whatever. I don't know, maybe they did, maybe they did. They look like they got it pretty much in the same spot though. And we're getting over that buzz with some big old air. That is a hard, hard landing. This suspension again, taking the brunt of this force. And will it be able to take something like this as we set it up into like a mega corkscrew and down on the sides of the tires? Can we pull out the save? There it is. And that's not enough. 
We got to double it up. Double or nothing. Oh, and it's twice as nice. How about it, Donkey Kong? I didn't know he was as agile. I thought he was a big fat gorilla. I was wrong. Today we learn. And today we might learn what a tore up Donkey Kong looks like because we are headed for the bus in a big way and we are going to back it up over top of it. Ripping the back of the body off and we're just flailing around back here. Still going. We're going back over the bus and ripping the shell off. Donkey Kong is in the nude. This could be a problem. Oh, this could be awesome as we're going for the impromptu backflip and we land it. Absolutely trashed the truck. The entire body saved for the tie is gone and even that's caught up in the trash suspension. What a glorious finish to that run. Well, here we are with another character truck and it is a cool one. We've got the Tasmanian Devil with a sick looking body. And this truck has some pretty sick history that I remember from my childhood watching it. So we're gonna try to give it a good run here as we're gonna start with a cockeyed hit on these crush cars. Give us a big old launch to the end of the track and we're gonna send it right into that camper and get through it clean. Crush down that box truck and we survived it. Gonna crush this bus down a little bit, get over top of that and move this thing towards the front stretch. We've got a semi trailer that's calling our name here. We're gonna put it to the test, grinding over the top of that thing and getting it back down. We'll flip it around here because I'm smelling a backflip coming up. Up and over we go and we under rotate it. That's gonna come down hard on the front end and over on the roof. It goes early in the run. That's just not acceptable for Taz. This truck's got some pedigree. Some of the best drivers in monster trucking have driven this truck. Charlie Pogan debuted the damn thing. Adam Anderson made his stadium debut in this damn thing. It's laying on its roof. Well, here's how we get it off its roof. You hit the control button, you drag on it until it comes back to life here. And now we have to turn the engine back on it, hope it refires. And it is indeed alive, but now our only issue is that both of the wheels are going in opposite directions in the front end. That is a bit of a problem. It won't be any problem to get over that van stack. Apparently we can do that nice and easy. Let's try the bus again too. We'll have to walk that over top of it. There you go. Oh, that was nice dragging the tailgate. And now just trying to slap some wheelies up, make this interesting, bounce it off the top of those crush cars, smash those things in. Oh, now this could be a problem when cross threading goes wrong. You get a nice save out of the deal. I think we only pulled that back because the front end is so crooked and cockeyed. It somehow managed to dig in like it does in this camper and box truck. Oh my God, did we smash into that thing? And we pulled out of it. We somehow got away with that. Our front suspension looks like it's hanging on by a thread. We got a shock hanging down there. I think that camper's ripping us apart at the seams. We're getting annihilated. Two wheels just got ripped off of us. What the hell is going on here? Excuse me? Self-destruct sequence initiated much. What did I just witness? Have you ever? Well, speaking of have you ever, we've got something that we haven't really dived into quite yet in our beam adventures. We have a actual diesel powered bro dozer. And that thing sounds so cool. At least it's a nice change of pace. I really like this truck. I know the real life one is kind of shrouded in some controversies right now based on what I've looked up recently. It's got like some lawsuits going on with the guys that made it and different things and whatnot. But I just think this truck is really quite cool. We're gonna put it to the test and see what that diesel engine is all about. Because the first thing I notice is it makes the truck drive a hell of a lot differently and it takes a lot longer to get up to speed, which I guess could just be the nature of a diesel engine. I really am not a technical engineer. I don't know as we skim the top of that bus and get over the top of that van. That was no skim job, that one. We will turn this thing around as it is just sounding so cool. It's such a, I was gonna say a breath of fresh air, but we're probably killing the planet with that black plume of smoke coming out the back. And oh, we might be getting some karma for that right now because what the hell is this? What the hell do you call this? That is not even close to getting up over top of that semi trailer. So we'll back it up and try that impromptu ramp again here. Yeah, everybody in the stands, point and laugh while you can because you're not going to get too for long. Let's go ahead and get this thing up and over we go. All right up and through and down hard on the back. We're going to bicycle this thing and ride out of it. That is nice. Throw it right into the next jump and keep it moving. As this thing does look sick. So I don't know if they even still run this truck or not. But we're gonna run it into the ground by looks at things into a backflip and taking the hood off 
as we have begun the dismantling portion of the run. We're gonna back it up over that bus even. Let's see if we can get it forward over this bus and crush it down a little bit. There we go, smash down on the cars on the back end and try it on this box truck again, see what we can't take it down. This thing is our arch nemesis and it's gonna get us again, the bane of our existence, this thing. And it's, oh, it just ripped our body off. We're doing sideways donuts here. Slam it into the side of it, still taking our revenge, taking our own body out, and I think I might have just broke the front suspension again. Throw this thing in reverse. We'll try the rear suspension for a change. How about that? And I see something lining up here. How about a reverse backflip, if you will? And it will be a success. Count it. As this thing is barely resembling Brodozer anymore, but it is quite obvious just by listening to it, isn't it? We'll try this the other way now. How about that? Up and through, clean, down on that car. That car and van have seen better days. And now through this big old steep ramp. So that thing is just barely hanging on. Those two back quarter panels are just flapping in the wind, aren't they? How about they flap up against this bus, which is exactly what we're doing. Flailing around the side of it. Keep your foot in the gas. And let's get it back on all four wheels to end that run. Oh, that was a magnificent run, I think. Not a bad debut for the diesel. I like it. Wow, about this. Grab onto the big guns, boys. We are going to war. We've got Soldier Fortune up next, ready to take on the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Looking like it just came out of the Halo assembly line for Warthogs. And this thing looks badass. And I was surprised how old it is already, too. This truck came out in 2015. I know there's 180 million different versions of it. And they took the gun off after a while too, but we're gonna need that gun today because we have added some new obstacles that are gonna be quite treacherous, such as that box and van combo, but we got over that nice and easy just by sending it up and sending it into the wheelie we do as well, because we gotta get to the middle of the track and catch some of these crush cars lacking over here. They're not paying attention. You gotta keep your eyes peeled when you're at the monster truck show. We'll show these cars over here too. We're gonna dance around that van. We're gonna rip some body panels off here. Look at that tailgate. We're gonna send that flying. Whoop, there it goes. That thing just went to its home planet. And speaking of new obstacles, look at this box pyramid we got going on over here. We'll have that to take on for the rest of the show just to try to make things a little less, uh, you know, insulting towards the game when it grabs onto your wheels and then rips them off by force. And that van right there is gonna knock us over on our side, but we gather it up and now we'll have to come through the signs here. If you hit that St. Jude's Children's Hospital sign, you get minus 50 points automatically. That's the rules. I don't make them. That's just how they are. Oh, this is shaping up to be something right here. And there it is, the perfect front flip with the momentum over the jump and carrying it down the front stretch here for the fans right in front of them. We're gonna hit the semi trailer with full force up and through, clearing the landing cars but I might not be satisfied with that. I don't think these fans are either. Look at all eight of them over there, just staring at me like a JPEG. We gotta do this in reverse. Let's go, send it right back. Send it back the other way and stand it up on the nose. Let's throw a re reverse wheelie in here. Why not? There's a bus over here somewhere. Let's, that, let's get that in there too. Yeah, there it is. Up and through this run is all coming together now, boys. Oh yes. Oh no, we're gonna under rotate that though. That's a hard landing on the side. Ripping the gun off the roof with that one, probably. There it goes, and still trying to save it. That's not enough. Give it some more gas. That will do it. How about this? It is all coming together now. If there was crowd noise, there would be a lot of it right now as we are up over the bus again, flipping this thing around towards Pit Road, coming back towards the Pyramid of Trucks, and we're going to get over that. But we need more, don't we? That is just not going to be enough as we wind this run down. Just slam it into it in reverse. Get the accidental reverse backflip again or what in the world do you even call this at this point we are gonna send it on to pit road and it comes back to us just for the added style points at the end soldier fortune though we were fortunate all right and get your hair gel out ladies and gentlemen we've got mohawk warrior coming up next of course one of my I guess an evolution of one of my favorite trucks ever. I used to be such a big fan of the plain black Escalade. It wasn't even funny. And then the one time they made it white at the World Finals, and that was even greater. This is not too great. As we are breaking in Mohawk Warrior with a bit of a hard bounce, and it didn't even, didn't even break a sweat. Look at it, it's fine. I think the windshield fell out. That's about it. We're gonna take it right over the semi-trailer then, and that's no biggie. This thing can take it like a champ. But shout out to George Bellhead, of course. He was the OG riding this thing, and I think it's been passed along a couple of times now, and nobody can do it as good as I can, clearly. It doesn't matter who. 
But we're gonna get a cockeyed look at this van, aren't we? Here we are. Oh, it's going into a backflip whether I wanted to or not. And that could have been a consecutive backflip, something this truck is kind of famous for doing, if I do remember correctly. There's that cockeyed look at the crush cars again. And this is getting funky here, and this is gonna be an interesting way to bring this truck to a stop. Gas it up on the pavement. Oh, we might be going to the fans. Hit the brakes. We cannot be having that. I know those catch fences are strong and they usually do their job, but we don't even want to leave it to the chance. This is like a 10,000 pound beast that I cannot get back on its wheels for the life of me. Come on, truck. Work with me. Thank you. Don't touch that children's hospital sign. You know the rules. Oh, my goodness. All right. Over the crush cars the other way. Now we go as we are catching our breath, living and breathing again. Now let's go the other way over this pyramid as we just get stuck. We just crunch right into it. It stops at our tracks. Is our bodies freaking out laying on the floor over there? And I like how all that's left of us is our mohawk. That is a nice touch. That is a good look for us, I think, as we're bicycling it some more. Gonna run over our old body. Coming back to this pyramid here. We're gonna wear this thing down here. If you get a fresh obstacle, you gotta take advantage and use the side of the backflip ramp to get the backflip in. And try the consecutive one, but it's not quite gonna work. We're gonna pull it out anyway, though. That was kind of nifty. That was like a front to back shift and what? Oh my goodness. We're just trying to backflip off anything and everything now. And we just might make this work. Come on, catch on the pavement. It didn't do it. Oh, it might have to on this. It's catching the sides of these ramps in such weird ways and it's gonna land again. Oh, this is unbelievable. So naturally you gotta send it into another one. What else are we gonna do here? We don't, we don't know anything else except for maybe the occasional corkscrew and that is gonna land even. This is a blessed run right here. Mohawk Warriors making all our hair stand up with this one going cross threading. Landing it hard, bicycling it some more. We got a wrecked suspension, I think we do. I, I catch some cockeyed wheels. I think they're going separate directions. And they're gonna go over on the pit road too. There you go, Mohawk down. I repeat, Mohawk down. That is a hell of a run right there by the Mohawk Warrior. Great Clips got their money's worth on that one. I'd say the sponsorship paid off. Well, as we get down to the end of the show, the big dogs are coming out, and this is one of the biggest ones of all. We've got Bigfoot number 19 in its speed energy layout. This was actually a viewer request, so shout out to the viewer who asked for this one. And I just learned a fun fact about this truck. This was originally supposed to be owned by Robbie Gordon and be a monster energy truck but the deal fell through. So now this is what we have. Now it's Bigfoot 19 and it's getting some big ass air and landing right down on the tailgate. That could not have felt too good. That was some of the biggest air we've seen all day. Damn, Robbie Gordon would have been proud of that if this ended up being his truck. That would have been right up his alley. All the crazy stuff he's usually getting up to. He should have done it. And we're crashing into these cars more than running over them. My goodness, we just smashed into them. I changed the tires to BKTs because the Firestones kept exploding on me. And this is still not going too good, but we got him over the pyramid with style and grace. That was just beautiful right there. And running out of it here. Let's find that van stack. Where's that coming at? Boom, see you later. And landed it down on pit road. Now watch out for the signs. Everybody knows the rules. We don't have to watch out for these two. All right, let's see what kind of trouble we can get into with these ramps here. So we're gonna come down on that nose hard and get a little kick off to the side here. Oh, this could be trouble as we're getting into a super donut on the side and save it. What a bunch of sidewinding cyclones that was. And now we got to follow that up with a big old slam at this tractor trailer. Come on up the elevator. We go all the way over top of the fence up above it, man. If we got kicked over off to the side, those fans would need to run and hide. That would be a problem, but we get through it and we're past it. How about this big old box van combo right here? Let's go for the backflip over it without even trying till we get it. Magnificent technique being displayed here. And we'll carry it down these speed ramps. We're just gonna send it into these speed ramps. Balls to the wall, oh, we're getting out of shape and that is a horrific crash. Oh my God, one of the hardest hits I have ever seen right into the end of that ramp. That was a bone shaking hit. And did we ever come apart? What a run though. We, uh, we might have jumped the gun on the Maximum Destruction moniker with what we just did, but hey, we have got the legendary classic with the front engine as well. So this could not get more correct if we tried, I don't think so. Let's just send it wide open for the start. And oh my God. Are you f kidding me?
Take two on the big air jump here. And we're going to lean a little bit to the other side this time, but we get that suspension underneath us. Very important that we manage that. We're going to send it up the ramps, not as fiercely as we did Bigfoot, but still letting it hang out and we gather it up. We have to let it hang out on the wild side now. We're late in the show. We've got to stand out, be a memorable run to these people. Let's take the trailer and just knock it over. How about that as we run across it? What else can we do to stand out? How about a moving backflip over the bus to rip the wheel off on the landing though? Oh no, into donuts. So that's kind of cool. And that wheel's having a rave over there. It's dancing. <laughs> that thing is just having a good old time. We're gonna kick it out of the way, keep flipping our way into this freestyle. I ain't giving up. Three wheels has never stopped this before. It will not today, not like this. Keep it moving. And this is a sorry sight, but not a unfamiliar one for Maximum Destruction. There have been plenty of freestyle runs like this in many American towns across this great nation. This has happened for decades now. And we're just gonna follow suit. It's, can we even get up this pyramid? It doesn't look like it didn't make it far and we might be jammed up. We might have just become part of the obstacle here, but we catch a piece and land it straight down on that broken piece of suspension, which I'm sure is just oh so forgiving. But we've got to make this run wild and out now. We have got to enter maximum destruction mode. I think I know just the way to do it. Let me see those box trucks. Let's just run it right into them. We are in max D mode. It is time to go crazy. We're flipping around. Smoke's flying out. This is just like some of the real world finals they used to do back in the day when the truck would be dead. Let's just floor it and see what happens. The hell with it. And the hell with it, I think, is where it's going to end up because this truck is in shambles and I might just be stuck with broken suspension everywhere you look. Tie rods hanging off. I'm pretty sure. I don't need this. is a disaster and a half. But my, 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 we made the most out of what we could with Max D, and now we've got one left. Well, if you're gonna close out the show, why not use the icon of icons? And we're going way in the way back machine here with what is a modernized version of the original Gravedigger mud truck that Dennis Anderson created after a little bit of trash talk with some buddies and some stuff. That story's pretty cool about how this thing came about, but this is where it truly started as a truck. Not necessarily as a monster truck. And they would have been a little bit scared of something like this back in the day, but not us. We are sending it over these things. We are a long way from the mud bog holes now. We are in Atlanta, Georgia on one of the biggest stages of them all. And we have got to close this thing out with a little more than some slap wheelies here. But we'll take them. We'll carry them across the racetrack, show off some of that horsepower. And how about over the bus? We show some of it off here. We're going to get a nice hard landing down there. That's kind of clean, kind of nice. And for something really out of our playbook, how about a backflip? Gonna land that thing nice and clean. We get by this and turn it around. We do it, man. What a sight this old school truck is. I don't know if they were doing backflips on the 30th anniversary as we get over that pyramid, but they should have because it would have been a cool treat as we don't even begin to get over this van stack. We just stuck on the car. We're gonna free ourselves finally, but not before it kicks us off to our side. Oh, save it. We're gonna destroy some of that beautiful body. Oh no, but we're gonna shed our way to our wheels. Hell yeah. And we've got a piece of our body hanging onto the side. We'll free that up. Don't worry, we'll get backflip that out of existence. That is not an issue. And past the backflip ramp, we'll go over the cars. Keeping this run kind of nice and fluid so far, except for the saves. I think we're good. How can we keep it fresh though? How about this big box van combo? We'll just send it right up, lose the hood and the front suspension. I see that tie rod hanging around, banging around. Oh, Damn it, we're gonna have to deal with that now as we close this run out, but that's all right. A little adversity has never hurt us before and it will not start today. So we've got to finish this one off strong. I've got a bus in my sights and a foot to the floor. So we're just gonna send it over top. Nobody cares about that tire. That thing just flapping in the wind too. You gotta to respect it for trying to hang on as so we're gonna line up one last shot here at the semi trailer. Can we just floor it up and through? right off the side, but I love the way it jiggles. We land hard on the back suspension. That's gonna kick us off. Can we get the save? We can. We can indeed just run it out here now. Floor it, let it rip on two wheels, bicycling. We're going over, we're into the lights. We're into pit road, we're wrecked. And that is how we are gonna end the show with an iconic crash and dash into the lights, what a day.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for our show here today. That was 12 Monster Trucks freestyling it up in Atlanta, Georgia at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe for more. We'll do some more. If you let me know down in the comments what trucks and tracks you'd like to see, we could get that popping even a little bit quicker probably. So if you guys want to do this for yourselves, if you got Beam and G on PC, I got all these mods from the Beam Monsters website. I will link it down in the description below. That's where I got literally every Everything you've seen in this video so just follow their tutorials it's all pretty easy to set up and you'll have your own fun ripping away at these things because trust me it is a good time but until next time we will do this again for sure thank you everybody so much for watching and with that i will see you in the next one